Hey Larry, thanks so much. Tonight, our investigation into the Church of Scientology widens. More voices who say the church condoned at the highest levels a climate of violence. Allegations of beatings, humiliations carried out by the church's leader, and what the church tonight has to say about it, including ex-wives of some of the accusers coming forward to flat out call them liars. Here's a short preview. Jeff Hawkins was a Scientologist for 35 years. A marketing director for the church, he was a member of the Sea Organization, the group that runs church operations worldwide. Hawkins, who left in 2005, says Miscavige attacked him several times, including once during a marketing meeting. He jumped up on the conference room table, like with his feet right on the conference room table, launched himself across the table at me, I was standing, battered my face, and then shoved me down on the floor. Tom DeVock was a construction manager for the church. He was only 12 years old when he joined. He left in 2005 because he says he could no longer accept Miscavige's violence. Dave asked me a question, and I couldn't tell you what the question is today. I don't remember. But the next thing I knew, I'm being smacked in the face and knocked down to the ground in front of all these people. This is the Pope, you know, knocking me down to the ground. Church spokesman Tommy Davis. These are individuals who have proven not only that they will lie, but that they will get other people to lie. It's not much of a stretch for them to all get together, corroborate their stories, find some other people who've left years ago to try and corroborate it even more, and then come to the news media and attack the very person who removed them. Part two of our week-long special report, Scientology, History of Violence, just ahead tonight.